Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware on Lumix S and GH series cameras. I'm gonna use Lumix S5 as an example, but it's actually the same process for the rest of the models. So let's get started. First you need to check the firmware version of your camera. Go to the menu, select the range icon, then another range icon with the dots and click on the firmware version. As you can see in my case, the body firmware version is 2.4 and my lens version is 1.0. Now let's go to the Panasonic website, the link in the description, and see if we have any available updates. Click on the tab that represents your camera system. For me it's a full-frame camera. And as you can see, for the S5 we got a pretty fresh update version 2.6. Click the link to open the download page. Here you can see the description of all updates. So simply click on the download button and accept the license agreement. Now if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a list of firmware updates for the lens. Here's my lens model, and as you can see for this model updates are not available, so we can update only the camera body. But anyway, both processes are absolutely identical. Ok, so remove the memory card from your camera and insert it into a card reader. If you don't have one, then just connect your camera to a computer using the USB cable. Then turn on your camera and select PC. Next I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and extract the firmware file from the archive. Then open the extracted folder and copy the bin file to the root directory of your card. And then eject the card or camera. Put the memory card into your camera, turn it on and navigate to the same firmware version option. Make sure that your battery has at least 50% charge, even though the whole thing takes less than a minute. And speaking of batteries, if you need a new original battery, the link will be in the description. Finally select the firmware update option and select yes to start the update. Don't press any buttons once the update is running. Ok, so the update was successful, now let's go ahead and verify the firmware version. And as you can see, now my camera is running the latest body firmware version. And like I said before, using the same process you can update your lens firmware. Just use the lens firmware file instead of the body one. And the last thing you need to do is remove the firmware file from your memory card. Or if you don't have any valuable data on the card, then you can simply format your card. And that's it. Thank you for watching.